Hey guys, what's up? It's JNOZ back here again, and I just woke up to this incredible news. It's the biggest blockbuster trade I have seen in my Vikings career. The Vikings have traded Harrison Smith to the Steelers for wide receiver Antonio Browns. And this can make or break it for both teams, as the Vikings need the number one receiver, and who doesn't want a Harrison Smith? So... They upgrade on defense as we get finally get our number one receiver. So let's take a look at Antonio Brown and why we trade for him. Uh, he's average. He got over 100 touches since 2013. Uh, last year, 106 receptions for 1,284 yards. That's a 12.1 average and 12 touchdowns. So he's one of the most. He can. He's one of those receivers that can just do it all. He can go underneath. He can catch those intermediate passes, and he can get open in the red zone. And it'd be a great target for Sam Bradford. Now, this also means that the Vikings really aren't that interested in the, the development of Old Farn Treadwell. That they were just talking him up, and there's really not much to him. So we have Antonio Brown on contract for the next four years. So I think that's a really telling because now he'll be our number four guy and not much hope working up the depth chart unless we want to trade him out with other receivers on, on our team, which is possible now. Uh, but they're both really young and really cheap, so I don't really don't see that happening anytime soon. Uh, and we really like the development of Diggs, and Diggs and Antonio Brown are very similar guys. Antonio Brown's, of course, a much better red zone guy, and he can help uh, Diggs figure that out. but before you hit the 20 yard line they're really similar type guys so I'm really looking forward to the development and Antonio Brown can help with uh, Stefan Diggs any of well of course help other receivers like uh, Adam Thielen and hopefully Laquan Treadwell as well and if we get four wide receivers on the same page uh, playing at a high level it's a very deadly offense so I think it's a very interesting trade for our offense and should boost our offense quite a bit but looking at our defense we're losing Perhaps our number one defender on our team. Uh, if you guys think that Harrison Smith is the number one guy, comment it down below. I think he's definitely up there. Han Limbaugh, Joseph, Eric Kendricks are probably the top three. Uh, but looking at Harrison Smith, he had 91 tackles from a safety position, which usually is a little bit of a red flag because that means a lot of runners or receivers are getting to the second level. But Harrison Smith plays in the box. He's kind of our plus kind of an extra linebacker most of the time so it's not that alarming for a guy like Harrison Smith but it still shows that we get cracks that like guys get to the second level more times than not uh he got two sacks in the year no interceptions last year but he's a guy that can get interceptions as you guys all know um the year before he had two 2014 he our year before he had in 2014, he had three, or he had five, I'm sorry. No, I'm like, no, I'm like glasses on these guys. No, I was so excited. I had to bring this guys this upcoming breaking news as soon as possible. Uh, this was, of course, broke by Ian Rappaport, and it was just um, briefly talked about on the NFL mobile app, which I saw it on, so I thought I'd bring it to you guys. Uh, where, now, where are we going to bring it with the safety position here on out? Well, Losing Harrison Smith, a giant piece to our puzzle. Uh, this really means that we probably will have Andrew Sandeo start for sure at that safety position. And that opens up the free safety position uh, for a lot of people. We have guys like uh, J. Ron Curse that has all the skill set available, but just needs to be a better football player. As a guy that Mike Zimmer seems pretty high on because he, he was the. Uh, opposite of Harrison Smith for he started a few games there but he quickly got burnt and then he uh, subbed in Anthony Harris which is another guy that's a very potential um, person to put in that free safety position and I think he's probably number one guy right now now you're looking probably looking forward to the Vikings drafting uh, a safety with one of the early picks and I would not be surprised at all if they go safety and try to get a Harrison Smith replacement as soon as possible. So there we have it. Quite the breaking news. A make it or break it move for Rick Spielman. If it doesn't pan out, I see him being fired in a year or two because this is really, really big. And for the Steelers, uh, they, Big Ben can make plays without Antonio Brown. So I think it's a really good trade for them. Uh, but we'll see what happens. If you guys don't know, 
thus far. Look at the date below. It's April 1st, April Fool's. Did I get anybody? See ya.